Good morning, John. I woke up before sunrise today because the only thing on my mind was... Damn you, John. That and the question you asked in your video. What, if anything, do we owe the dead? And I thought about this question while I was having eggnog for breakfast. And today is Thanksgiving. You see, originally I was going to do a video this week on giving thanks and what I'm giving thanks to. But now I want to do a video on your topic. So while I was shoveling the snow, I was thinking about friends and family who have moved on from this world. How my great aunt, who was a nun at 18, and 50 years later she had a cell phone before I did. And my grandpa, who served in World War II on aircraft carrier, and the stories he told me about the times. I miss them, and I love them still to this day. I also thought about the people who came before me that I don't know. Like the person who invented the snow shovel. How every person before me contributed to my life. How every subsequent generation contributes to the next. Then I thought about how our generation will be contributing to the next one. What would we be remembered for? I bet every generation thinks about these things. Not everybody is going to be remembered for changing the world or writing a novel. All I want to be remembered for is being a good person. For someone to tell a story about me to someone else. To make a meaningful difference in someone's life. And I can't ask more than that from the dead. So John, in answer to your question, what, if anything, do we owe the dead? Everything. To remember them and to thank them. This Thanksgiving, I'm not only thankful for my friends and family, for eggnog and snow shovels and for beautiful snow on trees. I'm thankful for all those who came before me. And I also want to thank you, John, for making me think about these things again. John, I'll see you on Monday.